dear audience in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful i am dr puram shahzad from national university of modern languages islamabad in my previous video i talked about theme and dream in our today's class we are going to talk about thematic progression the concept of theme and dream will continue in this video as well i have already described that theme is the starting point of the clause so according to haride and rukayya hasan anything which is coming in the beginning of the sentence is the theme and it is given prominence and something which is coming after the theme is the dream so i discussed in my previous video that themes are of three kinds we have discussed topical theme we have talked about textual theme and interpersonal theme once this idea is clear now it is time that we should see how writers how speakers they make use of these themes in their text and talk so thematic progression is also of three kinds and according to some of the authors it is of four kinds number 1 is called reiteration or constant theme constant theme means that in every sentence that you are speaking you give prominence to the same theme you give prominence to the same idea and in this way you generate the sentence so look at this picture theme 1 sentence 2 again theme 1 sentence 3 theme 1 i give you the example qaid azam was born in karachi qaid azam got his early education in karachi he went abroad for further studies he came back and joined muslim league so here continuously i am making use of he or qaid azam which is a constant theme and again new information is added with the same theme so reem is new but the theme remains the same and dear students i tell you good writers effective writers they make use of multiple themes they do not use consistently the same kind of theme in their writing so you should try to achieve the same kind of competence by making use of different kinds of themes and making use of thematic progression in a different way theme and dream the bat is a nocturnal animal it lives in the dark there are long nosed bats and mouse eared bats so every sentence it is starting with bats it is talking about bats so constant theme is there zigzag or linear theme according to brian paltridge the second kind of theme or thematic progression is called zigzag or linear theme so here theme 1 dream 1 and then dream 1 will be, will become theme 2 dream 1 will become theme 2 the author can bring something from dream 1 to the prominence and make it theme 2 and then from dream 2 he can bring something to the prominence and make theme 3 so that is called zigzag the american psychological species a documentation format required for example the term modality describes a range of grammatical resources used to express probability or obligation generally obligation so next sentence it is starting with generally obligation and the word obligation this idea obligation is taken from the previous sentence rem 1 so rem 1 is becoming re theme 2 so this is zigzag generally obligation is used in speech speech especially when wanting to get things done such as you should keep your room tidy the third kind of theme is called multiple theme or split rem in multiple theme or split rem we have got theme 1 and then we have got rem 1 and then we have got theme 2 which is coming from ream 1 and then we have got theme 3 which is again coming from ream 1 this time from ream 1 we have taken theme 2 and theme 3 or even theme 4 can be taken 
So this is called multiple theme split ream type of thematic progression. When Japanese people write their language, they use a combination of two separate alphabets as well as ideograms borrowed from Chinese. The two alphabets, so the word two alphabet, this phrase, it is taken from ream one, are called hiragana and katakanka. The Chinese ideograms are called kanji. The Chinese ideograms, again this theme, which is a theme three, it is taken from ream one. So multiple theme ream progression. Dear students, in this short video, I have talked about that how you can make use of thematic progression in your sentences. So when thematic progression is different, this creates, you know, something good in the writing. This way, it seems to us, it looks to us that some effective writer is making use of language and producing language or conveying message. So in this video, I have talked about three kinds of thematic progressions. Constant thematic progression, zigzag thematic progression and multiple theme split ream thematic progression. Thank you very much.